in our introduction we know that uh, we have some substances that have a sour taste we also have other substances that have a bitter taste for example uh, something like sour milk it has a sour taste uh, something like lemon juice also has a sour taste other substances such as soaps they have a bitter taste so that can be explained uh, by this concept of acids and bases for example those substances that mainly have a sour taste we say that they are acidic lemon juice sour milk and so on and so forth citrus fruits and so on and so forth so those ones are basically acidic so you can say that some substances have a sour taste and are therefore said to be to be acidic and you're saying that they include uh, we have sour milk we have lemon juice uh, we have other citrus fruits we have examples such as vinegar so etc all those are substances that have a sour taste and we say that they are acidic so they are not acids themselves but they contain acids in them they contain acids in them and that's what accounts for the sour taste uh, we also have other substances that have a bitter taste they have a bitter taste and are said to be basic they are said to be basic and we'll have examples they include soap we have wood ash we have caustic soda etc so these substances that we are saying that have a bitter taste we are saying they are basic those ones that have a sour taste uh, these ones we are saying that they are acidic but uh, it's not advisable to go test uh, to go tasting to go tasting substances to establish whether they are acidic or not so because uh, there are some acids that are very very strong and they can be harmful to a person when he or she tastes them so in the process we have what we call the indicators the indicators are the ones that help us to know whether a substance is acidic or not so we can say it is not advisable it is not advisable to test substances to establish whether they are acidic to establish whether they are acidic or basic it is not advisable because they can be harmful so you are saying they can be harmful so instead we use indicators to determine whether a substance whether a substance is an acid or base so we use indicators so at this point we'll define what is an indicator and we can say that an indicator is a chemical substance that gives different colors in acids and bases so for example it can give you a color that is red in acids and then when you test it with a base it gives you a color that is blue so the moment you get a blue color you know that that is a base the moment you get a red color you know that that is a, an acid so we are saying that uh, indicators give different colors 
with acids and bases. So they are the ones that help us to uh, determine that this is actually an acid, this is actually a base. So you can say that uh, an indicator is a chemical substance chemical substance that gives different colors when added to acids or bases. So the color that it gives you in an acid is different from the color that it gives you when the indicator is added to a base. So basically uh, we are saying that uh, that is an indicator. So we can say that uh, we can have an example whereby an indicator can give a color red in acids and blue in bases. So that's an indication that that is a an indicator and we are saying that we don't go testing whether a substance is an acid because there are some acids that are very very strong they are very very strong and they can be harmful uh, to, to human beings we also have some bases that are very very strong so in the process <coughs> in as much as we are saying that acids have a sour taste and bases have a bitter taste we should not taste them uh, remember one of the rules that we learned, the safety rules in the chemistry laboratory, is that we should never taste or eat anything while in the lab. So it is important that we know that we use indicators to tell us whether a substance is an acid or it is a base. So you'll have an assignment at that point. So the first question, uh, name four substances that are A, acidic, four substances that are acidic that we encounter every day, four substances that are basic that we encounter every day, and then number two, what is an indicator? So we're going to stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>